Hello everyone. Today we are in Vidya Bhavan Public School, Gwalior, and we are going to talk to a very innovative person who has been a part of school education since 30 years and is with the school from last 18 years. We will be talking to Mr. Nikesh Sharma, who is the principal of the school and also responsible for developing this education paradise. So let's talk to him. Hello everyone. Today we are in Vidya Bhavan Public School, Gwalior, and we have the principal of the school, Mr. Nikesh Sharma. Welcome to Maya Dubek, sir. Hello. So, what is your journey of coming into school education? Yeah. You know, I started my like journey in the school uh, education uh, in 1990. Okay. Yeah, it was my first, the Vidya Bhavan Public School was my first school where I started as a art teacher. Okay, so from art teacher, you have, you, because this is the first time when we are seeing that any principal who comes from the art teacher background. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's going to be very exciting to hear about your story. Like what I understand is the artists are more vigilant, they are more observant. So they can be good administrators in future if they really want to. Right. So uh, it was my choice to become a principal. So I then uh, started working on it. Okay. Uh, I'm a first graduate in literature as okay. well as fine arts okay. along with MED. Okay. So I tried to update myself for becoming an administrator. So it's been almost sir, 18 years you are in the same school. Yes, yes. So how do you see like uh, the transition which has happened from last 20 years if we say because digital education is something which is trending mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So if we talk about digital education, smart classes is one thing which is basically for teachers and yes. then learn these apps which are coming for the mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. We also, we want to know your views about digital edu education considering screen time as a constraint. Mm -hmm. Like if I compare the children of I mean, uh, 30 years back with the children of today. Uh, the children today are more fortunate to get so many opportunities. Right. And uh, if we don't teach them with the latest methodologies, I think we'll do wrong because they are smarter than the teachers sometimes. Right. Yeah. So we need to update ourselves. We need to follow all the technologies which are coming in so that they can gain more in right. the classroom. Sir, uh, my another question is about uh, your school mm -hmm. because you are the right person who can show us the picture of the school and no doubt uh, the school is growing from last few years mm -hmm. and so how do you see those practices which makes your school unique and differentiating as compared to any other institution in the city or in the yeah, town? Yeah, uh, like for my students of my school, yes, sir. Uh, the, our school is the second home for them. Okay. And obviously, we are the second parents and uh, we try our best to keep an eye on the children. We try and help them out in every smallest thing where they come for uh, come to us for asking something and uh, we help them out. And uh, we make it a point that the children are happy always. Right. And the teachers are happy and then the parents are happy always. So all the stakeholders should have the happy... Yeah. Happy environment is essential to work anywhere in any field. Absolutely. Sir, my ne next question is uh, about the role of the parents because we know that a student only spends six to seven hours mm. in a school and rest of the time he or she spends in their home. And the connectivity which a school has with the student that is in the form of homework. Mm. So how do you see the role of homework? That whether that homework should be done in isolation or should it be done in supervision or in consultation with the parents? Yeah, supervision is of course required for the children, like uh, when they are in the school, of course they are uh, supervised by the teachers, but when they go home, it is mandatory for the parents to take care of the children at home. It is not required that they should be sent to some coaching or some tuitions, yes. but uh, till the time the parents can um, teach them at home, it is the best part I think. Right. Sir, my uh, last question is uh, about uh, the schools, because mm -hmm. we know that schools are trending. Mm -hmm we need more schools it means like we need more teachers mm. and this the we always say that this is one of the industry which is which gives number of employment to mm. the people mm. so what is your message to those people who are opting teaching as their profession mm. like uh, you know i would like object to your one word you said just industry <laughs> okay. like uh, yeah schools cannot be an industry uh, okay. because uh, we are preparing the good human beings actually right okay not the only not the good students and the teachers who come for teaching, I mean, who want to opt the teaching as a profession, they should be very serious and they should be passionate. Okay. They should try to see their own children into all the children they are teaching in the school. Right. They should be the actual second parents of the children. Sir, I want to ask you one question because you have used the word happiness and 
very few people use the word happiness when it comes to uh, you know giving happiness to the society to all the stakeholders so how do you define that students remain happy after going from the school or after uh, maybe once they are in the school so how do you retain or maintain that happiness among the students yeah happiness is essential for everybody's life like uh, when the children come to the school uh, for getting the education in the school it is our responsibility to take care of the children we need to help them out in all small task if they are wrong somewhere it is our responsibility to check them and uh, give them the right guidance and uh, if the parent give us a call we should entertain them with happiness always right. and uh, when the children want to make a choice in career we should we should uh, watch them since their childhood what they are doing actually and it would be really good if all the principals or all the administrators help the children to get a uh, career according to their hobby okay and earlier when we used to talk about that there were just few options which mm-hmm. every student was mm-hmm. doing that was about uh, engineering or medical mm-hmm. or maybe ca mm-hmm. so how do you give them the counseling when it comes to their career options uh, like today uh, as i said earlier like today the children are very lucky because there are multiple opportunities where they can work happily as per their hobbies right okay it's not only that engineer or the doctors or the cas they have to become in life they can become any anything but but uh, with with the passion okay and dedication right so we are very thankful to you for giving us your time and uh, we have seen the school and we are really we really feel fortunate that uh, the school the way the you you people are working so i'm sure like the f- the future of the students are in the safe hands thank you so much sir thank you